So I'll start off by saying that, you know, it was a, it was a good day, a good learning experience for really everybody. Uh, I thought that uh, in spots we were we were really good in terms of uh, complimentary football. You know, defense got three turnovers. We scored three times off of those, a uh, touchdown and two field goals, and I thought that was really good complimentary football. Um, our offense ended every drive with a kick, you know, either a punt, you know, a field goal, you know, or an extra point, which is what we always want. Um, we had a nice punt and pin, uh, and then we, again, defense did a nice job stopping them, getting at midfield. I know Dante wished he would have had that return back, uh, but uh, he just certainly did a nice job of making up for it. You know, he had a couple of nice routes and a couple of nice touchdowns, and uh, I thought them, they connected really well. So to start the game, you know, with the offense, you know, I thought, you know, what I thought Caleb did today that was really well was he had a nice professional day at quarterbacking. So it's not always going to be rosy. You know, you're not going to make all your completions and make these big chunk plays to start out. And so I, th I saw operation that was good um, before the snap, um, in and out of the huddle, uh, really good communicating. Uh, cadence was good. Um, I thought his, uh, his flow of the game was really nice. I also thought that, you know, his disposition when he had a little adversity on the sideline was excellent. Um, him working with the players, um, you know, body language, demeanor never changed. Um, he was always in there just, you know, working to the next one. And then finally we got the reverse to, to Rome. We got a big pass and, and those things. and got the DPI and the one red zone kind of stalled out there from self-inflicted wounds during that one. But, you know, we did get it down there. We ended up scoring and it was good. Um, but overall, I thought it was, it was a good day, a lot of learning. We'll look at the tape and we'll, we'll get better from this. We got a short week coming up. You know, so it was uh, it was good to get those guys in there for those amount of plays. What was your view of the uh, the roll up, the deep ball to Rome? Uh, yeah, so that was running away from me. So um, I've seen him do that a few times in practice. Um, obviously, very very talented running, you know, throwing on the move and uh, rolling to his left, right. So it was really good. And uh, Rome did a nice job of tracking the ball. Uh, it was it was no doubt it was a catch and did a really nice job. This is it for him in terms of preseason snaps. Well, I'll ask you, is he going to play Thursday, number one? But if he's not, if this is it, what have you learned about Caleb in these preseason game settings? Yeah, to answer your first one, we'll look at the tape and we'll just talk as a group. You know, the players are off tomorrow, so we got the whole day to be able to really digest this, this performance uh, from every level, including the quarterback. And then we'll just uh, look at each other and say, yeah, you know, this is, this is good, or we'll have to, you know, flow into the next one. We'll see where that is. Um, in terms of what I learned from him is what I've said all along. He always rises to the challenge. I mean, we'll challenge him again this week to improve on, on basically everything of, of quarterbacking that he, he needs to. And he's done that. He's done a really good job of that. And uh, so we'll just uh, look at it like that. Did you adjust your plan to play him longer so you could finish with some momentum today? No, that was, uh, that was the range that we had. So, you know, we don't go into it and say, hey, we're going to play a quarter you know, or two quarter, you know, whatever quarter and a half, it doesn't, that doesn't work. So, you know, you, why you do it is you say, Hey, we're going to have a range of series and a range of number of plays. And then, like I said, the other day at the presser, that's how you see the ebb and flow of the game and guys are able to play until we say, okay, Hey, that's, that's good. Um, as a group. And again, I ultimately make that decision, but, uh, we like to do it that way. But did we saw uh, Ryan Poles looking at the turf a couple hours before the game started. Did you have any role in taking a look at it, and, and what did you make of it? Because it seemed a little beat up. Yeah, so the, the turf, our guys do a great job of putting the turf down. The, the thing with this time was that it was it was put down a little bit later because of the concerts and everything like that, and uh, hadn't been down that long. But it was in terms of its safety, in terms of its play, in terms of what what it was on the field, it was fine. It was good, you know, because the NFL obviously tests that. It was up to their standards, and again, once it ends up, you know, being in there for a couple more weeks before the first game, it'll look beautiful. When, uh, you called a lot of blitzes or a good amount of blitzes today. You know, you came. What was the percentage? Come on, Pat. Preseason. Um, but do you know what the percentage was? Uh, I don't know. Look, you came in with a reputation as, some, as a defensive coordinator, like to get the quarterback. To well, what, how have you evolved in the last couple of years in terms of bringing the extra guy to the point to where you've got a guy in Kyler who's really comfortable doing it? Yeah. Uh, we've had a couple of guys that's been good at it in the system. Um, couple, you know, one of them's in the Hall of Fame. But I would just say that, uh, you know, bringing that nickel slot pressure is, is a good thing. We've always done that. Uh, guys have seen that forever, and it's nothing new. You know, we feel really good about what Kyler can bring. He has a really, really wide range set, you know, in terms of his skills. 
he's really good, in, you know, in man, good in zone, good in the, all the things we do that way, and he's good at pressuring. So we like sending him, and he's good at it. Even though it, your backups are playing the kind of defense, how important are the takeaways? Yeah, that's big. You know, that's that's what we do. We like to stop the run, take the ball away. You know, set short fields for our offense, and uh, we're just pl- trying to play complementary football, getting those distances that we like. I don't think we did a good enough job on third down today. I thought we need to do a better job with that. Um, but you know, we should be getting off the field more than we did today. So we'll look at that with a critical eye. And uh, yeah, so but overall, the run defense was solid. What's, what's the lesson with, with Caleb on the grounding penalty on the first drive from uh, the defense? Yeah, so that's uh, has to be under duress. You know, we, I, I talked to the officials about that because I thought the pocket was pretty was pretty clean the entire time. And uh, you know, I think our one of our slot receivers got jammed up and supposed to be coming out on that one. And uh, so um, I did talk to him about it. I didn't think it was 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 under duress. Can you speak on Tyson Bajan's yeah his performance in the third quarter like really electrified the fans? change the pace of the game. Can you talk about that? Yeah, Bajit's uh, always done that. We've seen him play in games last year, did a wonderful job for us coming in there, and he's a good player. You know, he really is and understands the offense uh, really well, uh, picks up things really well, can chunk a lot of information. Um, he's a really good rhythm passer. You know, he really can throw on time. Uh, you saw that one, you know, in cut right there. And then the seam ball. The seam ball, that's a, you know, you have to have a little touch there and be able to place it in the right spot and did a really nice job with that. So he's got all the angles, all the speeds that you need, and uh, he's a talent. How do you evaluate offensive lines without seeing the tape of Nate Davis? How would you evaluate his day based on what you saw? Yeah, I would have to look, I mean, because it's so hard to look at sometimes. Unless you see something, you know, a guy jump off sides or you see a guy get beat right away, it's, it's hard to evaluate those inside players. Um, the pocket looked pretty clean for the most part today, and uh, our guys have been doing a good job with that. Mentioned Rome on the end around. What do you guys like about him with the ball in his hands? Just the speed. He, he's really fast. Um, he's got really good speed. He's got a couple of different gears, and uh, he's he's becoming a really good route runner. Um, you know, so and he can track the deep ball. Um, that, that's what he does. That's what he did in college. That's what he's doing here. So we're excited about him. A couple more. You talked about Caleb keeping a, a, a level head, kind of when things weren't going well and when they were. Yeah. What is your interaction with him on the sideline? In, in what ways do you see? kind of how his body language is influencing others when he's over there and, and, and do you watch for that as a head coach? Yeah, yeah, so we meet, you know, a few times a week. We meet before the game. We talk about all those things that we, I talked about on the onset of this this interview here, and uh, and he holds true to that, you know, because that's, that's being a quarterback. You know, you're supposed to be, yeah, you have to be the leader, and he di- he demonstrated that today by the way his demeanor was and the way he had poise and the way he came back. And eventually things are going to crack, and he did a nice job with that today. And But we're always having conversations with that. I went back there one time and talked to him, uh, just the interaction. Hey, we're going to get this next one going, and we, and we did. But, uh, yeah, it's been good. Matt, what are you seeing from Caleb in terms of – what are you seeing from Caleb in terms of scrambling to buy time, but it, it still looks like first thought is downfield? Yeah, so uh, in the red zone there, you know, you have some, uh, you know, some things in terms of like, you know, being able to extend plays. You know, every quarterback in the league extend plays in the red zone, and he does that, and he's very good at it. You know, and he would have had a touchdown there if Rome, you know, Rome has, you know, obviously I talked to Rome after the game about learning where your feet are and feeling that out. Um, but uh, it, it's been good. It's been good. But again, there's, there's a balance there between throwing the ball on time and then scrambling when you have to, and he has a good balance of that. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, Matt.